The battle for Libya appears to have tipped back into the favor of Muammar Gaddafi. Libya's government forces have driven rebels back about 100 miles in just two days. That negates most of the ground the opposition has gained since the UN implemented a no-fly zone. While Gaddafi's forces made those advances, the Libyan leader lost a key member of his inner circle on Wednesday. For more on this diplomatic development, we are joined by Up to the Minutes United Nations contributor Frank Uciardo. Thanks for being with us, Frank. Betty, on Wednesday, Libya's foreign minister, Moussa Kousa, flew from Tunisia to London, where he informed British officials he is resigning his post. Libya's deputy UN ambassador confirmed Mr. Kousa's resignation for me and talked about the latest fighting by the opposition forces battling Muammar Gaddafi's troops. Uh, Mr. Kousa uh, has defected uh, the regime. Certainly anyone who sees uh, what's going on now in Libya, the violations of human rights, the uh, killing of uh, the Libyan people on the hands of the regime. Certainly he cannot take it, take it anymore. He, uh, most of them would like to uh, defect, but uh, and I think many of them are, are uh, looking for the chance to do it. Uh, our forces, uh, which is uh, uh, really a modest uh, force, most of uh, it is constituted from uh, civilian volunteers has uh, reached uh, the outskirts of Sirte, and for technical reasons, they withdrew now uh, to Brega, and they are reorganizing and trying to uh, 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 be uh, uh, more uh, uh, organized. And I think they will they will try to uh, go back and uh, to the offensive again, and uh, they will uh, be planning to uh, uh, take uh, Sirte soon. The town is heard as Muammar Gaddafi's birthplace and would be a turning point if the rebels can regroup their forces. Meanwhile, Libya's status at the United Nations remains a diplomatic limbo with former Libyan envoys representing the transitional national government and now Miguel Descoto Brockman, the former Nicaraguan minister who was the UN General Assembly president back in 2008, has now been asked to represent Gaddafi's regime and his interests at the UN. Stay tuned. Of course we will. All right, Frank, thank you so much for that.